Hello everyone, um, I'm just making this video because, well, just thought it'd be interesting. It's a Q&A, but it's not with comments, it's with like a generate, like a question generator website I found. Uh, it still counts as a Q&A, because, yeah. So, the first question in this one says, what movie or book do you know the most quotes from and i think the one i don't know any quotes from a book but a movie is toy story i know quite a few like um uh the snake in my boot uh there's like a lot i know um don't really remember actually, but I know a few that'll pop in my head. If you wanted to, if you wanted to slowly drive a roommate insane using only one, only notes, what kind of notes would you leave around the house? Probably cringy shit, like dead memes and like really cringy shit. That's how I would annoy him if I had a roommate. That's how I would annoy him with only notes. I'll just do like me old memes or cringy shit. I think that would actually, if he's like a meme, that would actually make him insane. But if he isn't, I think that still can make him insane. Um, all right, next question is, what job won't be replaced by machines or computers anytime soon oh that's actually a good question uh probably hmm what job what i'm trying to f maybe scooping shit like and like z like in zoos where they have to scoop the poop I can't really think of any other jobs that don't really use machinery that won't re be replaced. I honestly, probably if you're Amish, because they don't really use technology, they just like use the classic stuff. That's really a difficult question, I don't really know. So that's all I've got for that question. Uh, next question is what would be the worst food to be uh, oh oh what would be the worst food to liquefy and drink through a straw I'm pretty sure a lot of food just pizza or pickle just like blend pickle or um that's uh, basically any food can be terrible liquid form there's like some that could be good but there's some that's terrible like i said pickle uh probably celery like any vegetable could be terrible probably uh Yeah, I'm pretty sure vegetables will be a terrible smoothie because it, I, don't, I don't. Maybe some people, it, maybe it is a thing and people like it, but I, I, I don't think it'll taste nice. Probably. So I think the worst one would be a, just a like full on pizza or full on burger. Or uh, if we're talking like separate foods, probably like I said, vegetables, like cucumber or celery or um cabbage or whatever like that i think that would be terrible if it was liquefied in your f in drink if it was a drink if all your memories were erased what kind of person would you be a baby <laughs> well actually not a baby probably a i don't know i'd just be a fucking like I said, I'd probably just be a baby, but who, who can speak English? 
Actually, no, you would be a baby because if you mem you have the memory of words, wouldn't you? you have like memory of like how to speak English? Like I, I, I think you would technically just be a baby, but grown up. I'm pretty sure that's what would happen. If, I thought the question was going to ask if I had if I had to choose a mem what memory to get rid of, what would it be? I'm going to do that as a question as well. What memory would I like to be erased? Um, I have got a lot of weird memories. Probably the one where I did the talent show. That or um, that or a. Uh, what other ones would I get rid of? I think that's about it. Because that's the only one that I just cringe a lot. Where I was doing a talent show. And I was like dancing. And I fucking hated myself when I, I keep remembering it by deed. That or the fucking sex education. In my sex education they showed a video of birth real life birth as well very zoomed in very graphic and that is literally gave me trauma that that's just gave me trauma it's stuck in my head that fucking video i do not know why they showed that for sex education i i don't know but what it's stuck in my head forever that video or the fucking close-ups of like the baby coming out it was fucking horrifying. I'd rather watch fucking porn than fucking that. <laughs> I'd rather just, I'd rather watch two girls, one cup than fucking birth. Fuck that. That was horrible. That was, that, that was the, I think that's the memory I would get rid of because it's, that is glued in my head, that fucking memory. Okay. If you could slow down time, what would you do with the, that power? Oof. It depends on, like, how slow. Hmm. What would I do if I could slow down? Like, how does that work, though? Like, if it's, like, super hot, where it, if you don't move, it goes slow. But if it's, like, like you can control it. I'm fine. If it's controlling, that's good. But if it's like super hot, where if you don't move, time doesn't like go slow. That would suck. Because if you died, the fucking time would be slow forever, and that would just be miserable. I'd rather just control it, cause that'll be better. Let's go by controlling then. So, what would I do if I had the power of slow time? I honestly don't really know. Some people say they would probably like rob a bank or something, but I probably wouldn't really fucking do that. Because I think if I tried to rob a store or something having slow time, they can probably pause it or slow it that slow down the footage and see my face. Actually to be fair I could just wear a mask. I don't know. I probably, I won't steal money, I'll probably just steal, like, fucking food and get video games. Because <laughs> it'd be le less of a hassle to try and, like, open the register and or a safe. I'd rather just do steal food and stuff like that. That or, um... I don't really know what else you could do slowing down time. Well, there's actually a lot of things, to be fair. I'm pretty sure you could go through... Oh, yeah, you can, like, mess around with people. Like, if you're getting bullied, you can fuck around with the guy that's bull bullying you. You could slow down time and, like, fucking, I don't know, put his trousers down or something. I don't fucking know. Um, or, uh... But I don't really know what you could do with a bullet. That's what that's all I can think. Just pull his trousers down, or actually, you could just 
take all of, all his clothes off, hide the clothes, and then make him run around naked in the school or college. That 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 that's a good idea as well for slowing down time. Alright, let's go to the next question anyway. What country do you, you never want to visit? Actually, I've already know this answer to this. I'm not really a fan of Australia. Like, I'm all right w with the country. It's just the ant, like s the spiders and sh shit. There, there's like a fuck ton of poisonous stuff. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I'm not hating on our Australian people. It's just the spiders and stuff in there are just fucking Jesus. I think that's the only country that I would never visit. Australia. That or Africa. I think Africa's got some poisonous stuff as well. I don't really know. But I'm pretty sure Australia takes the cake for the most poisonous place that has like poisonous bugs and shit. What's the most amazing true story you, you've heard? Um... I've heard. I have no idea. Probably. Oh, what was it? Fudge. I'm trying to remember. There was like a story I remember that I thought it was amazing. I don't really remember. Fuck, that's actually a difficult question for me because there was a lot of stories I've been told. Probably my sister meeting a football manager. It's not really a story. She just told me she had a friend that her dad was a manager for a football team, which was Notts County, which obviously is not a good team, but it was my dad's favourite team, so it was good for my sister because... We celebrated his birthday, I think, or Dad Father's Day by watching Notts County, I think, for him. No, I, I mean, not for him, um, watching Notts County and drinking and shit and all that. Obviously, they lost because, well, <laughs> they're not a great, a great team. That's about it. Just my sister meeting a football manager, but it's not Carter. But it's still it's 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 still amazing though to see a football manager. Even though it is a n not amazing, not so amazing team. What's worth spending more on to get the best? Fuck me, I don't know. I was gonna say charity, but prob actually no, probably charity. I don't know what charity, but charity. But if it's like spending my money, or if I if I had a million pound char charity, but if if it's money I have now, nah, well, then <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't, I can't. We need food and stuff. But if it's a million pound, I'll do charity. But I think the most useful thing for me... Nah, charity, if I had a million. I don't know which charity, but a charity. I think that's the best thing to buy. To buy. What would you do if you knew you were going to die in one hour? I, I don't fucking know. I can't really do that much for an hour. What the fuck can you do for an hour? <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't have an answer to this one. Uh, probably just bust a nut, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I honestly, I'd probably just tell my mum I love her, 
and all that. Like, love her. I, well, I don't really know. I, I love her, love my sister, uh, and all that. And probably, <laughs> and probably quickly think what my last words could be. I don't really know what I'd, I'd, I'd probably just say. I'd probably just say. I don't know. I don't really know what I would say. I'd probably just say I love you, mom, or something like that. But you not you can't really do that much for an hour except for love your mom or who or any family or just bust one out <laughs> that's the only two things I can think of but even though the bust one out could just take like two minutes so I could do both of them bust one out and say my mom, I love my mom before I go and probably eat a lot of food because well I'm gonna go anyway I don't want to eat too much though because I want to save some food for my mom what would be the most scariest monster you can imagine? I don't really know. <laughs> Probably... Momo. <laughs> Probably her. She was fucking creeper. That or, um... What's his face? Um that Obama thing. I don't know what I remember what it was called. But I, I know it was like a meme. But I'm pretty sure the scariest monster would be fucking Momo. Because that's like, that, that monster's fucking creeper. That or that Clementine uh, thing. I don't really know what her name is, but I know, I think it's called Mother. Clementine mother. I don't really know. It's like a creature that is like sewing needles for hands and uh, and buttons for eyes. And she like lures children to these like fantasy lands or something. And makes gives them a choice to stay in the fantasy land but the thing they have to do is like so buttons on their eyes. So I, th I think Momo is more creepy though. Cause that it's not that it is creepy to me because I watched the film and it gave me a bit of a fright. Well, it didn't really give me a fright. It just scared me a bit when I was young. So I think Momo would be the scariest monster. Oh Jesus, this is a long one. If someone you loved was killed in front of you, but someone created a copy of them, that was perfect, right down to the atomic level, would they be the same person and would you love them just as much? So they, okay. So someone I love died, but then they get copied. Is it a clone then? It's technically the same person because it says it's the same person with like the same traits and everything. Probably. I'd probably be weirded out at first because I'd probably, I'd be, I'd probably be weirded out first for the clone. Because I know my mum's dead. That that's the person I love, mostly. My mum. I don't really have anyone else. <laughs> that or Mini Lad. Actually, no, my mum's more precious to me. So it'd probably be a bit weird at first. But I think I would start getting used to it and loving her back. Because it is the same person, technically. That's what it's saying on the question. So, yes. There's nothing really that bad. I think the only thing... 
it's like a if it was like a robot i'd probably have a bit of weirdness in it i probably it's it would be like a 50 50 thing like 50 percent, i love you but i 50 percent it's 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 a this is a hard question to answer so basically i'll just say uh i probably could just get used to it i don't know what just, what just around the corner tech are you eager to get your hands on? So basically it's saying what tech would I like my hands on? Jesus, I don't fucking know. I always say I want a, a, a VR or a Valve, but I don't really have that much room for that. I honestly don't really know. Um, could it be? Does it have to be tech that's invented now? Because if it's tech, I can make my own. I can think of a lot of things. But if it, I'm just gonna go for the tech that's now. So, um, I honestly don't really know. Probably a mic that works on my PC because the mic I have for some reason doesn't work on my PC. I think that's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> that or um, that or um, uh, I was gonna say AirPods so I can flex, but nah, fuck that. <laughs> Nah, just a better mic. That's that's all I can think. Just a better headset with a to, to make make it work on my PC. How often do you dance? Silly, ironic, dancing counts. Fucking hell, that's actually a, I don't know. <laughs> that is I I do dance a lot. I don't know if like slow dancing counts, like if you move your head like that, or if you just like do this. I don't know. Like sometimes I bob my head into music that's in the shops or in McDonald's. So probably not twenty four seven. Just when I, it's just when I hear music, basically some good some good music. I mostly I mostly lip sync it, but actually no, I do dance mostly actually. So, how far should government? Okay, no, I'm not going to answer that. It's politics. Fuck that. What do you do to unwind? Does that mean relax? I'm going to guess it means relax. Right, well, it must. Obviously, it means relax. Uh. I just watch YouTube, watch Mini Lad, anything that makes me laugh. Mini Lad, Markiplier. Uh, who else do I watch that makes me laugh? Oh, I forgot his name. Crap. There's a guy named Whatever that does these GTA videos, which are actually interesting. Uh. I just basically and memes that that to me, or I go on Discord as well to talk to people. So that's what makes me relax. I was going to say video games, but that does make me angry sometimes. So I'm just going to say YouTube or having a conversation with my mum or spending time with family and friends. Have you? If you unexpectedly won £10,000, what would you spend it on? I'd probably just give half of it to my mom. That would be, so I have 5000 now. Uh, I honestly don't really know. <laughs> probably games. I honestly don't really spend money that much. 
so I don't really know. <laughs> I'll probably get games with it, to be fair. That or in food, like take out and stuff. My mum probably will buy like airplane tickets to a different country. I don't know how much it is. I don't actually. I don't think that'll be enough. I don't know. So I'll just basically buy games or food. I don't really know what else I can do with it. What's the craziest conversation you ever you've overheard? Oh, overheard. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've heard a lot of weird conversations. Well, Dash and I haven't. I've made weird conversations. Um, I've actually heard a lot. I forgot when I had the PS uh, Four with my friends. When I joined their party, I joined it, and they're talking about some of the weird as hell. I think the weirdest one I could think of is when they were talking about actually there's two weird things they were fucking on about there was some about Fortnite Fortnite skins and there was another one about Pain Olympics and Two Girl One Cup uh I probably can go. I, I probably can go for what's it, the Fortnite one, because they were talking about. They asked a question to everyone, saying, "Who do you think is the thickest skin on Fortnite?" And uh, everyone answered. I think someone said, "I don't really remember the characters," but they said, "Bright Bummer," I think her name was. And oh, I don't really remember. There was like a swimsuit skin, but I don't remember the name. There's, they said that one as well. And I just joined, and I'm like, what the, f the fuck are you on about? And then they told me what they were on about. And I just answered, and I, I don't remember what I said. It was like, I don't really remember. It's, it's, a, it's a vague, vague conversation that I had. The two girls won cup and... Pain Olympics. I don't. We were just talking about uh, what's the worst thing we've they've watched. They were talking about. Apparently, my one of my friends said Pain Olympics, and another one said Two Girls One Cup. And they said, and then they started to talk about Pain Olympics when I joined. Because apparently, that's the most gruesome thing. I, that's the weird conversation I had. The fucking Pain Olympics thing. My friends on my play on my friends on my PlayStation are just fucking weird. I can't really say shit because I'm weird. I do weird conversation as well. What, what job would you be absolute terrible at? Cooking. <laughs> Cooking or flying at fucking aircraft. I would crash that <laughs> definitely. <laughs> anything to do with driving something complicated like a plane helicopter uh probably a crane uh what else is complicated to drive um i can't really think except for plane and helicopter a ship like a big fat warship or something um, I think that's about it. Either driving some of that com that's complicated or cooking because I'll be terrible at the c cooking. Unless they can teach me that I'm fine with it. But if it's like, like Gordon Ramsay, mate, I would be fucking yelled at. <laughs> He'll tell me to get out of the kitchen without, without, without me touching anything. I don't even need to touch anything, and he'll just tell me, he'll just call me a donkey and tell me to fuck off. What annoys you most about 
in the groups you are part of. What annoys me the most? Probably if they air a plot, like air ape the mic. Oh wait, what is it for? Like, oh shit, what's that? Oh my, f my phone's saying something. I think it's low battery. I'll just do this last question and I'll end the video because I think my phone's running out of battery. All right, what I find annoying groups. Well, if it's in like a social like networking group like playstation xbox like any parties or chats in a social media thing or console whatever you, you know what i mean i say air rape for that but if it's like in public i honestly don't really know because i don't really meet people in a group in public but I, if i could think probably if they um Uh, probably if they like hit me really hard or something like they, they hit you but they don't actually mean like not in like a bully way like in a friend way if you know what I mean like oh John good good lad and they just punch you really hard in the, like, in the shoulder or somewhere and I find that a bit annoying because they, they just give you a fucking bruise mate they give you a fucking purple mark which is and it's going to be a not and you're going to, have to be, be in pain I don't know if I get I think I'm the only one who gets that it's, it's probably because I'm the weakest shit <laughs> mate have you looked at me I'm not mostly like fucking uh, KSI or fucking any WWE wrestler so I think that's the only thing I could think that's annoying in like Xbox parties or social chats probably air rape like any high pitched screeching or like putting their mic in their mouth and just <laughs> blowing it like it, 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 I get used to it for like a second but then if they keep carrying on it gets annoying because what's the use talking to you if, you, if you're just going to keep breathing in your fucking mic mate and you can't really concentrate what you're doing when they keep doing that. I know you could just mute them, but I'm not really a person that mutes people. I just don't like muting. I don't know why. Alright, I'm going to end this now, because my fucking phone's about to die. So, um, that wraps up this video. I hope that was interesting to know a bit more about me. I might do this again. I might try a different uh, different way to get questions. But I might use this website to have run out of questions on it. So, or, or if you want to comment a question, go on, I'll, 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 I'll answer it. I, I, yeah. Like, subscribe, and uh, press the bell icon as well. And yeah, bye.